Mm -hmm. <laughs> How's the lighting coming, McBroom? McBroom? McBroom! What are you doing? I thought I told you to put up more lights for the portrait. Uh, I don't know if the wiring can take much more. She's overloaded as it is. It's a painting, McBroom, not the Astrodome. Hey, hey. So, do you like your portrait? <laughs> yes, yes, very nice, Miss Eyesore. I'd kind of like to get paid. Can't you see I am busy? Don't yes. you have a finger no. painting class to it's teach or something? Hmm? 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 <laughs> yes! Mr. Lipman, last week I told you my civics class would be staging a trial. You promised us a student discipline case. I sent you one, remember? That larceny case. A freshman with an overdue library book. Well, you have to nip that sort of thing in the bud. We need something big. Well, the next time I get a murderer or a kidnapper, I'll send him to you. Very funny, Lipman. I'll have a few things to say at the next PTA meeting. <laughs> Will you hurry up, McBroom, before I go completely blind? <laughs> Great. No brain damage, I hope. Give me my sword! Ha! Who's there? Yeah! I'm surrounded by idiots. Hey, Mr. No! It's a really cool picture. You get that taken at a carnival? Oh, see what you made me do, you moron! Sorry, Mr. Lemon. Oh, sorry, sorry, you you'll be sorry when you spend the rest of your life in ninth grade. <laughs> Why do you start and seem to fear things that do sound so fair? <laughs> Don't worry, Tummy Wummy. Daddy's going to make you all bigger. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Lemon. Hi. Justice Aaron presiding. Before the court is the case of the People versus Walter on the charge of willful destruction of property. Good, Aaron. Defendant, how do you plead? Not guilty? So noted. Prosecution, please make your opening statement. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, every civilized society is governed by law. And in every society, there are those who think they are somehow above the law. It is my duty as prosecutor to make sure that they aren't. Hey, this guy's good. I hope he wins. Walter, <laughs> he's the enemy. In our midst, we have such a person who the evidence will show vandalized a painting of our beloved vice principal. <laughs> Let's send him a clear message that we do not tolerate crime by punishing him to the full extent of the law. Find Walter guilty. Aaron, Aaron. Oh, order, order in the courts. Who is that guy? I've never seen him before. He's an honor student from Middlebury High. Lemon had him transferred just for this trial. Oh. The 
Pen, please make your opening remarks. Watch my fireworks. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, Your Honor, Prosecution, Mr. Lipman, Freshmen, Fresh Women. Mary, get on with it. I'm sorry. The prosecution has painted the defendant as some kind of criminal genius. Now look at him. He's no genius. I mean, he's no right. criminal. Walter is a model citizen and a devoted scholar. In fact, he's even taking the ninth grade over again so we can learn twice as much. Walter is the kind of person I would trust with my life, and I think the evidence will bear me out. Thank you. Gee, Manny, I never knew you felt that way about me. Well... Hey, let me use your pen for a sec. No way, get your own pen. <laughs> Prosecution, please call your first witness. I'd like to call to the stand Mr. Elliot Littman. Oh. Order, order in the court. Oh. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth to be God? What? Please be seated. Mr. Littman, can you describe for the court what transpired on the morning of Monday the 12th? Well, it was a day like any other day. Students quietly making their way to class, greeting me respectfully, admiring my new portrait. You're blocking the hallway, cue ball. Walter, dear friend, please don't ride that in the halls. Don't tell me my business, Mr. Dork Man. Hey. Where'd you get that taken? At a carnival? Actually, Walter, it's a painting meant for all to enjoy. Oh. Stay before I play, Chrome Dome. <laughs> Let the record show that the aforementioned thumb is now in bandages. That's not the way I remember it. No further questions. Your witness. Counselor. <laughs> Don't worry. I poked so many holes in his testimony, it looked like Swiss cheese. Mr. Lipman. Mr. Lipman. Mr. Lipman. After the injury, you went back to your office, did you not? I had to apply emergency first aid to my thumb. So you, uh, didn't actually see the defendant touch your portrait, did you? Hmm. Did I mention that while I was in my office, I was able to amend the list of freshmen who will be spending the rest of the year cleaning toilets? No further questions. Did you see the way he looked at me? I can get put on latrine duty or suspended, like you're going to be. Because my next witness, Miss Eyesore. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, Sophie God? Huh? Be seated. Now, Miss Eyesore, you painted the portrait, is that correct? Yes. And you were also Walter's art teacher. That's right. On the morning of Monday the 12th, had Walter received his grade for his latest project? Yes, I failed him. Oh, reluctantly. The assignment was to paint a bowl of fruit. And is this the painting? <laughs> it is. <laughs> I got hungry! <laughs> Is it possible that Walter's painting, which earned him an F, might have given him a reason for revenge? Objection, Your Honor. This calls for speculation by the witness. <coughs> <laughs> Withdrawn. <laughs> Miss Eithor, you may answer the question. Yes. I suppose it is possible. No further questions. Manny, you may cross-examine the witness. <laughs> no questions. Surely you must have some questions, Manny. Mm, all right. Miss mm, Isor, what's your favorite color? Gold. No further questions. I'd like to call as my next witness, Mr. McBroom, the Hawthorne custodian. <laughs> Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, something God? I cannot understand a word you utter. Nay, nearly one syllable. Huh? Please be seated. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. 
You sit down. <laughs> Mr. McBroom, in your opinion, did Walter vandalize the painting? Well, I, I don't remember it too well now. Oh, try, McBroom, try. <laughs> Aye, there was a great flash of light and... And? Aye, uh, it's all coming back to me now. <laughs> so foul and fair a day I have not seen. Aye, something wicked this way comes. Walter and McBrew, full hail! <laughs> Beware the balding man upon the horse! For of your sorrows, this man is the soul. In dire trouble you shall surely fall! For trashing weapons, tasting on the wall! <laughs> I'm not the chilling squad, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Is this a magic marker I see before me? Where are you going, laddie? <laughs> and it happened exactly like that. Well, I'm not sure about the thunder. <laughs> right. No further questions. Mr. McBroom, what is your favorite color? Well, flat, of course, laddie. Nothing further. Manny, what are you doing? Defend me! Are you crazy? I'm not gonna stay after school and clean toilets. <laughs> Your Honor, I'd like to have a meeting with my attorney in private. Motion granted. But please make it brief. Don't worry. This won't take long. to change in counsel and will not be represented by Aaron. Your Honor, I request a brief recess to look over the evidence due to my client's crummy representation up to this point. Crummy representation? Counselor, I find you in contempt of court. Manny, grant her motion. Oh, come on, I'm a judge. Manny. Oh, all right, motion granted. Court is adjourned until tomorrow afternoon. But it won't make any difference then you're gonna fry. <laughs> Bloody wiring. Counting the days, Walter? No, just doing my math homework. <laughs> Walter, I've been thinking. What if we change your plea to temporary insanity? Huh? Well, we could argue that the three helpings of super sugar flakes you had for breakfast made you totally crazy, and that's why I vandalized the painting. Hey, that's a great idea. Except, it would be a lie. Well, two helpings then. No, I mean, it would be a lie to say I'm guilty. Walter, what really happened that day? I don't know what happened. I mean, I was there and everything, but... But I swear, I didn't touch that painting. Okay, I believe you. Maybe we'd better start at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm innocent. Are you gonna finish that brownie? <laughs> Turn of lights when leaving. Macbeth. the opportunity to recall the witnesses. Well, tough noogies. Request denied. Me? Let me call the witnesses. Fine. I hate being the judge. Oh! <laughs> Mr. Lippman, is this the hammer the defendant allegedly used to hit your thumb? Yes. The evidence shows that the only fingerprints on the hammer are yours, and that the skid marks in the hall were made not by a motorcycle, but by a skateboard. <laughs> Is it possible that your recollection might be, shall we say, cloudy? Uh, not too cloudy to remember how filthy the bathrooms can get. Can you please answer the question, Mr. Lippman? Uh, well, uh, per perhaps a few of the, the, the details are a tiny bit confused. <laughs> Miss Eyesore, you testified that you painted this portrait of Mr. Lippman. May I ask, were you painted in a timely fashion? Hardly. He still owes me the money. I see. <laughs> this must have made you very angry. Um, angry? <laughs> Mr. McBroom, you testified that you encountered a, a witch. It was three witches. <laughs> and in addition to warning Walter, did these witches say something like, no man of woman born shall harm Macbeth? Those words do sound a bit familiar. Words taken from Shakespeare's play, Macbeth, which you were reading the day of the crime. Aye. Only moments before you received a powerful shock. Aye. A shock caused by the vanity and negligence of Mr. Littman. <laughs> All charges against my client be dropped and that his case be dismissed. Objection! No way! We haven't even convicted him yet. Error. This is highly irregular. But Walter's innocent. I could prove it right now. All right. Go ahead. This is Walter's term paper, which he was carrying when he ran into Mr. Lippman. Oh, how clumsy of me. Don't allow me. Thanks. Oh, would you mind putting those pages in order for me? Well, I, I can't. There are no page numbers and I can barely read it. Precisely. At the time of the incident, Walter was wearing headphones, and he couldn't hear a thing. He noticed that his term paper was scattered all over the floor and bent down to pick up the pages. Since they were out of order, this was no easy task. <laughs> this water pistol was found in Miss Eyesore's classroom. It's filled with cerulean undersea cobalt blue paint, the same paint that was splattered all over Mr. Lippman's portrait. Miss Eyesore, angered at Mr. Lippman's failure to pay her, crept up to the portrait and, in a malicious act of vengeance, squirted paint all over her. It's not a big deal! It's washable! Wait, wait! There's more. This sign was taken from the broom closet. It exactly matches the clumsy penmanship and atrocious spelling of the graffiti found on the portrait. The mystery penman? Our own Mr. McBroom. <laughs> McBroom, still smarting from having been electrocuted, snuck up and scrawled his graffiti <laughs> on the porch. <laughs> it was fate, I tell you. I never wait, meant... Wait, wait. I'm not through. I have here an x-ray of a handbook in two places. 
kind of injury that's sustained by punching a cinder block wall with your fist. Perhaps while aiming at a hated face on a portrait. Mr. Wright, would you care to tell the court how you broke your hand? <laughs> or shall I do it for you? You see, Mr. Wright was furious at Mr. Littman over the student court project. He couldn't wait for the poster to clear so that he could sneak up and punch Littman's face on the portrait. <laughs> I know it was wrong, but it was worth the pain! Please let me continue. I had the debris on the portrait chemically analyzed. The result... <laughs> the results showed dozens of foodstuffs which could not possibly have come from just one student's lunch. The entire student body of Hawthorne came by and pummeled the portrait with anything they could find. At that point, someone must have heard Mr. Lippman coming because they all dispersed. Just as Walter finished picking up his term paper, he stood amazed at the transformed painting until Mr. Lippman returned. So you see, not only is my client innocent, but he's practically the only one who's innocent. The whole school? Well, aren't you the popular one? You're fired! Oh, fine. If I stay at Hawthorne any longer, it could ruin my chances to get into a good college. <laughs> Manny, dismiss the case. You're out of order! Oh, You're out of order! There it is, McBroom. Our beloved administrator, do. Well, let's try the lights. No, check the bloody wiring. <laughs> oh, who goes there? Please, Mr. Lippman. We're here to apologize for what we did to your portrait. Uh, I'm not. Oh, yeah, that's right. Walter's not here to apologize, being innocent and all. Apology accepted. Now, as you can see, this picture is not... Oh, but sir, I have to tap into the other circuit. It goes right through this wall. Well, get at it from the other side. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yes. Just in case any of you people get any funny ideas, let me assure you that our beloved administrator, too, is totally... Thoroughly impregnable. Big <laughs> <laughs> <Rick> Broom! <laughs> I've done it again! a special performance at Hawthorne High tonight by Shanice, and you can see it on SNCC. SNCC welcomes welcome freshmen, and welcome freshmen welcome Shanice. Tonight on SNCC. Florida.